Hi everybody, this is Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I'm going to do a dirty flip cup on. And let's go over my paints. My first paint is a paint I made up myself and it's to replicate the paint called Mysterious from Art Minds. I never did get to use that paint, but this is, I think, what it kind of looked like. And there's consistency you can see right away. Just leaves a little trace. My next paint is Porridge Posse Victoria's Muscadine Wine. Very pretty wine color. And this is Chris, Christina Welsh's art line, and I can um, put her name in the description. My next paint is Modern Masters that I buy at Michael's, and it's the Antique Bronze. Very pretty color again, antique bronze. My next color is Modern Masters Rose Quartz. Very light rose color. My next color is a combination of the Porridge Posse Paint Snow White Iridescent Pearl, and I added just two small drops of the Golden Fluid Acrylic Iridescent Silver Fine with that. Just give it a little bit of a silver hint to it. And let's see. My base coat today is a combination of Master's Touch Titanium White. And I did add maybe a tablespoon of Dutch Boy Acrylic Enamel to that. See if we can get a cloudy effect today. My pouring medium today is seven parts of mix, one part paint. And I did thin with just a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera off, put my base coat down, and I'm going to layer my cup, and then I'll bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down. I have my cup filled and I'll show you that. I drizzled the paint down the side so it would uh, kind of incorporate with each other a little bit there. And one thing I wanted to bring up for you um, new um, acrylic pouring artists out there, when you think about how much paint do I need to cover my canvas, this is the formula that I use, and this is an example. This is a 12 by 12 inch canvas, so what you do is you just times 12 by 12, and that's the width by the height, and that equals 144. And then I divide that by 28, and that gives me 5.14 ounces. So I usually round, round that up, so I would have rounded that up to 5.2. Now, if you have really deep sides on your canvas, today I don't. I have just the, the thinner canvas here. But if you have like a one and a half or a two inch side, or I, canvases sometimes can even go higher than that, I would add another ounce to your um, paint to allow enough. So when you go to do your colored paint also, in other words, not your base coat, but what you're gonna pour on there. So I would have figured 5.2 to cover the whole canvas. But if you wanna leave negative space, you can leave, you can mix a little bit less paint. So that's my rule of thumb is just height times width divided by 28, which gives you your ounces and then round it up to the nearest full ounce. So I got my cup ready here and I'm just going to um, do a flip cup. So I just flipped it right in the middle there and I'm going to let it set there a minute. And matter of fact, what you can do is you can just poke a few holes in the top of your cup and that will help that paint run right down. And another thing I'm going to do, because I do have some silver left here, it was that white that I mixed with some silver. I'm just going to add it around here. And let my paint run right over the top of that. I 
And I also have a little bit of my white left that has the enamel in it. So let's put a little bit of that around there too, just to help my paint move a little bit. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of milk this cup and you'll see what I mean by I'll bring it up, I'll bring it down, up and down. Very pretty colors here. So at some point, some artists like to um, what they call wreck it, where they run a skewer or a stick or something through there, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm gonna let it be as it is. Just gonna do a quick torch here to get some of those air bubbles out. I did not mix this paint that long ago, maybe just one or two hours ago. And uh, quite a few air bubbles in there. I have a little bit of this silver left here, which I'll put down on there. Okay, so let's start tipping and see what I get. Again, no silicone was used in these paints today. Just the mix and some water. And, and I did mix the base coat white with the, uh, the enamel paint. And when you're tipping, just be mindful of what you see that you really like and would like to keep so you can tip carefully. I like to bring my paint back to the center before I decide to go to another corner. Sometimes I even like to take a little bit of a look at it here, see what's going on. Okay, this is that bronze that I really like that color and I don't really want that to run off if it doesn't have to. So what I'm going to do is I save my cards that come with my canvases. So I'll try and use that as I tip to save some of that paint. like a paint catcher and what you can do is just then throw that paint right back onto the canvas okay I'm going to tip down to this corner now You always want to try to have enough paint, but if you're like me, you don't like to waste a whole lot of paint. And tip a little bit this way now. And then I'll go down to the bottom, to that far corner there. And I'll bring that back. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it here. Clean the bottom off with my finger a little bit. Check my corners. Check the sides. With the mix, what I've found is the more you stretch it out, the more those nice effects show up. So I'm just deciding where I would like to um, move a little bit more of the paint off. And I think I'll try it on this corner down here. And I'll bring that back. And I'll take another look at it. And I will check the sides and the corners here. It really does have a lot of really nice areas going on for it here. And I think what I'm going to do is just stretch it a little bit more down in this corner. I think I can afford to just pull a little more of that paint off. Okay, and I'll bring that back. Okay, now I'm just going to look at the composition of this. And I'm pretty, I really do like how it's looking right now. And I'm starting to get some of these little white cells up here that happen with the enamel. Cleaning the bottom off here. And I think I will give it a torch. These colors are very, very nice together. See if we get some more of those little white cells coming up here. Okay, and I think I will get you down for a close-up. Just checking the, the corners here. Okay, everybody, we're going to come down now for our close-up. And what I did off-camera is I did a little bit more tilting in this corner and then down in this far corner and I'll show you all the results this is the upper left hand corner and you can see the enamel did work there all those little white cells popping up from that enamel 
So I was curious to see if the enamel would work with the uh, mix, and it did. Just going down the left-hand side, I really do like the cells in here. Colors played very well together. I do like the muted look here, that cloudy look. And then I love the vibrancy I got with that muscadine wine color. There's a little bit of that bronze color in there. I think that's very pretty down in here. And I'll take you up the middle. And this is quite a small canvas. Again, some more cells there. Pretty in here. Again, that muscadine wine, very pretty in here. The way those cells acted and came up. I like that effect. And here is the upper right hand corner. It's going down the right hand side here. And it's pretty in here too. And then here is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That way you'll know every time that I do post a new video and it will help my channel grow. That would be great. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.